What's going on everybody, David here, back with another video. So today we're gonna to do a stimulus check update and we have more good news. So yesterday there was some good news and the good news yesterday is trumped by the news today. Uh, basically. So we're going to talk a little bit about it. Now, sometimes you'll have good news. Sometimes we'll have bad news. I've been doing this since March 27th. I've been putting out videos and I've been doing daily videos since like April, like the first week of April, I start doing daily stimulus check updates. Uh, so there's a lot of information out there and I try to dissect and let you guys know what's good, what's bad. And I try to to anticipate things by looking at the little things that the politicians say, because politicians will lead you to, they'll say something and then you'll see the action afterward. Uh, so I try to to give that information to you. So yesterday there was good news. Today's there, I, I think it's even better news when it comes down to it. We're gonna watch the video and then we'll, we'll go ahead and dissect it. Uh, but first off, if you guys could please hit the like button, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing, hit the little bell notification so you get notified of future videos. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this video. Yeah. Nancy Pelosi, the House Speaker, seems to have suggested that $600 per week for federal benefits is her red line. Mm -hmm. Do you think a bill with that amount of money for unemployment could pass the Senate if the president were to say he wants that too? I think I'm pretty safe to say that there are plenty of re Republicans in the Senate who may not vote for a package if that's where it ends up. But we know this is going to be a negotiated settlement. I just said it's not going to produce a come by moment like we had in March or April where everybody voted aye. But the American people, in the end, need help. And wherever this thing settles between the president of the United States and his team, it has to sign it into law. And the Democrat, not insignificant minority in the Senate and majority in the House, is something I'm prepared to support, even if I have some problems with certain parts of it. Thanks, everyone. All right, so you saw that. Now, th this, is, this is amazing to hear Mitch McConnell say that. And if you didn't catch exactly what he was saying, he was basically saying, uh, as the majority leader, he's the majority leader in the Senate. So he controls what goes on in the city. He controls what goes on to the floor, uh, the bills that go onto the floor, all of that. And it was just interesting to hear him say that he's gonna rely on the White House. So the negotiations between the White House and the Democrats, so Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, he's gonna rely on them. Once they come down with their negotiations, what they once they come down with this stuff on paper, he's just going to bring it to the floor. And he he's going to be relying mainly on the Democrats to support the, the, this, this package in, in the Senate as far as passing it uh, through the Senate. He doesn't have a lot of support when it comes to the Republicans in the Senate. There are a lot of them that have said that they either don't want a stimulus package or they're not open to... The, the things that that will be in the in this next package and so it's really interesting it's 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 amazing that mitch mcconnell is just stepping back and allowing i mean he has a lot of power like you have to understand you have nancy pelosi who's the speaker of the house who's probably in in, in my opinion the most powerful person in government uh, even more powerful than the president she just has more flexibility and things that she can do uh, she, she she you know she has the purse she has the money uh, when it comes to getting things done. However, you also have Mitch McConnell, who is the majority leader in the Senate. So he also has a lot of power, but he's giving it away. He's saying, the White House, go ahead and do whatever you need to do. Whatever you guys think is good, go ahead and go with it. So that $600 per week for enhanced unemployment, guess what? It's, it's still on the table. And he just opened up to it right there and just said, hey, if they can, if they can work out a deal, and it's 600 per week, even if I don't agree with it, I'm still going to bring it to the floor. So that's, that's amazing to me that he is just stepping back. And now we see and we understand why he's not in that room, because at this point, he's just going to pass whatever the White House agrees to, the White House and, and the Democrats. So this gives the Democrats a huge advantage, gives them a lot of leverage. And if you look back, the Republicans had leverage. The Republicans in the Senate, they had leverage back in May, back in June. Uh, even some of, of July, they had some leverage. And that's the reason why they just waited. It frustrated a lot of people, but they had the leverage right at that time. Now they've lost all leverage. I mean, the press conference today, it was just full of, of senators coming up saying that this is urgent. This needs to get done. This is, you know, Democrats are, are, are stalling and all this and all that. 
So they're desperate. They're at a point right now, some of them are running for re-election, so they understand the importance of, hey, this is this is bad. This looks bad on us. So we have to make we have to make some decisions. Uh, but when it comes down to it, it's interesting, right? Mitch McConnell is just kind of stepping back. His whole role, and it, I mean, it, it should upset people. It upsets people like me who are really into government and, and, and how it works and the, and the balance of government and the power you know, of, of the different branches. I mean, he has just taken the, the legislative or at least part of the legislative power away, and he's just relying on the White House. Uh, so that, that's, that's pretty amazing in itself because now you have an executive branch doing legislative work. And and all he's doing is saying, okay, just give it to me and I'll I'll put it on the floor and we'll get it voted on. Uh, So we're going to see the Democrats get most of what they want, the bottom line, right? Because the White House, their main concern is getting Trump reelected. That's their main concern. And this is bad press right now. The fact that enhanced unemployment expired, the fact that the eviction moratorium expired, the fact that PPP will expire this week. I mean, all this stuff is is bad press for the White House. So they're going to be open to anything. And Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer could say, okay, $600 per week. And they'll be like, okay, what else? They're, they're going to want to just get things done. And so they're not going to be worried about how much it costs. They're not going to be worried about any of that stuff. Now, where the Democrats can make a mistake is if they still try to pull in some of this pork that, that shouldn't be in there. Okay, so some of the things that were, were mentioned before in the HEROES Act, that were criticized, like the marijuana uh, research and all that kind of stuff, they need to leave that out. Leave that out of the uh, out of this bill and just work on the things that are absolutely important, like the hazard pay, like the the stimulus checks, which we we, we could all probably agree that that's going to be in there. The enhanced unemployment, the eviction, money for eviction. Now, the eviction moratorium, we'll have to see if they work at that angle or if they work with some type of aid for uh, for people for housing. Uh, and mortgages. Because the eviction moratorium, it's good, but it's only good to a certain extent because you don't have to pay it right away, but you're still going to have to pay it in the future. So that can still pose a problem, uh, definitely pose a problem for a lot of people. Let's say if you're paying $1,000 a month and you miss three months, you don't get evicted, but you owe that $3,000 uh, at the end of you know at the end of all this. So we'll have to see if there's some type of forgiveness or anything, some type of program that they can work out uh, with that. Uh, but yes, the Democrats have a huge advantage right now. They have the leverage. And that's probably why Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, were they were sticking to their guns when it was like, you know, they kept mentioning the HEROES Act. They kept mentioning the HEROES Act. You know, we have the HEROES Act. We already got this this approved uh, through, the, through the House. Let's go ahead and move it through the Senate. That's why they kept going back to it, because they knew they had the leverage. So the Democrats knew they had the public on their side, because the Republicans, the Republicans in the Senate, they waited for two and a half months before they did anything, before they put anything in, in, in front of uh, the Senate. And so now the public is looking at it like, well, yeah, you know what? You guys should have done something a long time ago. And so we'll see where this goes. My hope is that they can get something at least something on paper by Friday. Nancy Pelosi's already mentioned that she doesn't think it's going to get done this week. But at least if they can get something on paper so we have an idea of what's going on, that will be good. And then next week, they can go ahead, work out all the fine details, get something presented to the Senate. So Mitch McConnell will, will get the proposal. They'll put it in front of the Senate. The Senate will vote on it. It's, it's probably going to be the majority of Democrats are going to be voted for it. You might have some... Uh, Senate Republicans that will vote for it, approve it, get it sent down to the House. And Nancy Pelosi is really good about knowing the numbers. She knows who will support her in the House. So it's not going to be one of those deals where it's like, well, is she going to have the numbers? Is she not going to have the numbers? She's going to know she has the numbers when she finishes that negotiation with the White House. She'll know already. And so from that point, it's already a done deal. As long as it goes through the through the Senate, then it'll go down to the House. The House will sign it and then it'll go to the president. Hopefully we can get it to the president by next week and then have the president sign off on it. And then we'll we'll move on our way. And hopefully the stimulus checks will come out maybe in a week or two weeks, depending on how fast they can send them out. But obviously there's going to be some urgency to send them out as fast as possible. And we already know that uh, Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin, he's indicated that he can send it out really fast. So they're already preparing for this. And so as soon as it gets signed, they'll be working on trying to get that stuff out to us. Uh, So this is good news. This is good news. 
And uh, like I said, it's a little unfortunate. It's a little unfortunate just to see from a government standpoint, from me looking in and just saying, wow, government is not functioning the way that it should. I mean, the, the, the powers are being kind of uh, mixed up where you have the executive uh, doing the legislative uh, job, which is, is not what you want to see. But in this situation, just get it done. I think Mitch McConnell's kind of done when it comes to being a leader. He's, he's probably just like, you know what? I, I, I'm over this. Somebody else can do this job. I don't want to do it anymore. That's just the way that I see it. I mean, he doesn't look like he, he's not engaged at all. So uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think this is good news? Do you think maybe we'll see something at least finalized by Friday, maybe not, maybe not approved by Friday, but at least finalized to a point where they have something on paper. This is what we're going to go with and then give the senators a little bit of time to kind of review it. And then on Monday, have them vote on it and then send it to the house. Let me know down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, also, please, like I said, hit that like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. The last video that I put out did really well. Got over like 6,000 likes and the video is, is performing really well. So the more likes the video gets, the more views the video usually gets. All right, guys, um, that's all I have for you guys. Please subscribe for more. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.